All right, everyone, it's the next morning. Last night was a great time. Despite low numbers of snakes, we got the big target again in the form of the biggest mountain king snake that I've ever seen in the wild. And we're at it again this morning. Same general area, but during the daytime, hoping to see one out and about, uh, either on the crawl or maybe under a rock. So, well, I just lost our first snake of the day. It was the mountain king snake in that crack. We're in pain. Um, yeah, that was about the worst. It was just starting to come out and I turned my flashlight on like this, not knowing it was in there and it just sucked back. All right, guys, I'm back to where the Mountain King was. It's right around that corner and I saw it poking out of the crack again. So I'm gonna sit here for about 10 minutes and then take another look and see if it's far enough that I can grab it. Squirrel doesn't like me. Well, that snake looked like it was going to come out for a little bit, and then it went deeper into the crack again. So I don't think we are going to be getting a better look at that guy or much of a look at all. I did get one not that good phone photo that I'll attach, but man, that's frustrating. First time that's happened to me with a Mountain King. Stephen found a really cool bird. That's a Mexican spotted owl. There's the, the mom or the dad. And there's the little guy. That is so sick. What a morning. All right, everyone, it is midday at this point. Quite the tragic loss this morning with that pyro in the crack, but at least we saw one. Steven has left us, unfortunately. It's just now me, Thomas, and Graham for the night, and uh, we're gonna go check into our hotel for the night. We've been camping a couple days and we're dirty. And then we're gonna come back out and road cruise, so I'll check in with you guys when we get back out for the afternoon. All right, there's our first snake pretty quickly, a nice big black tail. That guy is way bigger than a normal black tail. And that's an ornatus too. Holy snake. cow. We're moving a snake, Borkers. He's big and pretty. Don't go that way, snake. Gorgeous. That's a big old snake. Oh, hello. Go that way, yeah. That's the direction you were headed, dude. It's a, it's a snake. She said something about killing him, so let's get him out of the road. Yeah. Nope. He's making less noise than the dogs. Yeah. What is this? Holy crap. That is ridiculous. That's like a patternless prairie rattlesnake almost. That is awesome. I'm so glad we got one of those now. Well, I can say with confidence that's one of the weirdest rattlesnakes I've ever seen. Graham's uh, getting some pictures here. <laughs> Head scratches for the Viridus. He's very angry, but as far as Viridus goes, he's pretty chill too. Okay. Yeah. A little rotato potato here. Man, that's cool. Practically patternless prairie rattlesnake here. Pretty high in elevation in the mountains of New Mexico. Once again, kind of a weird place to see uh, typically grassland rattlesnake up in the mountains. I hate when they turn their head like that, man. Dude. Stop looking at me, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, smart, dude. Dude, they, they're the most attentive rattlesnake by far because they just, they this is bearded. He's... I can't shoot him because he's going to come try and get me. All right. Well, we'll get some pics of this guy and let him go. But very cool next snake of the night. All right. Next snake, we have baby Aatrox. Hello, little guy. He hit the pancake button. <laughs> so cute. All right. Out of the road. It is hey. A nice contrast. A gopher snake. We have not seen many non-venomous snakes this trip that haven't been mountain kings. So that is... That is a big W here. So yeah, Thomas cool. really wanted to see one of these guys. Good looking snake. 
That's a nice looking gopher snake. Been a while since we've seen one of these. Where are you going, dude? You're climbing for the stars, I guess. You gave me a little hiss there. Another baby Aatrox. They're abundant, as it would turn out. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's nice. He's Beautiful. So good. <laughs> Look at the stripe behind his eye. All right, well, there is our first banded rock rattlesnake of the day, and only the second one of the trip, surprisingly. We were really hoping to see more of these than we have. And weirdly enough, the only two we've been able to turn up have been on the road. Um, typically, they're a little bit easier to find in habitat and more difficult to find on the road, from my experience. But beautiful snake, cool-looking golden eye, and one of the main reasons we come out here to New Mexico, along with the uh, the mountain king snake. So, and here is another black tail. Not as big as the first one. A little bit skinny, maybe. Look at his head. Lots of snakes out tonight. We've seen four different species of rat. That might be a postpartum female, actually. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Look at that, she's very skinny. Do you have babies? Are you a mama? All right, out the road. Another one. That's a big baby. You got some size on you. He's troxing. <laughs> Non-responsive. Baby. What a good little dude. Out of the road with you. Alright, it's getting pretty late, but here is yet another blacktail. This one's also kind of tiny and skinny, but very pretty. Lots of blacktails this wow. trip. Well, our descent down the mountain has truly begun. Here's our first adult Aatrox of the night. <laughs> But we're headed back to town, probably gonna call it a night here soon. We've seen a lot of snakes and they just keep coming, but it is getting late, so we'll get them out of the road. All right, guys, well, we're back in the hotel room and on the floor of the hotel room, I just found what I think is this little desert spiny lizard, Scloperus Magister. I'm not entirely sure that's what it is or how it got in here. Um, but yeah, that's the, the first one of these we've seen this trip, and it was inside the hotel, just all sitting on the floor when we got back from road cruising. All right, everyone, it is probably our last day here in this region of New Mexico. Tomorrow, we're going to start heading east. We'll probably do one more day in New Mexico, but it's just me and Thomas now. Everyone else has had to return home, and we're going to wrap up this trip together and then drive home. But we hopefully still have a good bit of herping ahead of us, so... Let's get to hiking this afternoon and see what we can turn up. Last night was pretty snaky, but really the only thing we saw last night that uh, was of any note was the clob and the patternless or reduced pattern viridus. The rest of it was mostly stuff we've seen a lot of, but really good numbers. I'd be happy if we see those numbers again tonight. So let's get to it. Here's our first lizard of the evening. I think this is a, a Scoloperus cowl's eye. I'm not sure what the common name is. I'll have to double check. But basically, just the fence lizard equivalent of this region. Oh, there he goes. A pretty cool looking belly. This is Thomas's lifer, so I grabbed it. All right, next find, we have a nice little Madrean alligator lizard. This guy has a regrown tail. And if you're not super familiar with lizards, you can tell because it doesn't quite grow back as perfectly as the original. You can see his kind of banding stops about halfway down the tail, and that's where it was broken off last time. And it's grown back, which doesn't really hurt the lizard, but they don't look as cool when they have the uh, regrown tail as when they have a complete tail. But very nice. These have been pretty common this trip. Not quite as common as I was expecting them to be, uh, considering some of my previous trips to this area. But very, very cool lizards. Thomas is going to take photos, and then we'll keep moving. All right, Thomas just flipped our first snake of the afternoon, and it's actually a new species for the trip and for the year, I think. The wandering garter snake. These guys have a massive range across the western and central United States, typically occurring at pretty high elevations, uh, such as where we are right now in uh, New Mexico. But this is about as far south as these guys go. I don't think they make it any further than this general area. So it's southern extent of a very wide-ranging species here in the high mountains of southern New Mexico. All right, next snake of the day, right past the wandering garter, is a very well-hidden blacktail. Look at that. I was about to 
kind of start heading that way and he gave me a buzz, thankfully. All right, here's the ivy guy out in the open. Very, very tolerant and beautiful snake, as blacktails usually are. But we'll just get some quick shots and leave him to it. Nice to be on the board with a wandering garter and a blacktail pretty early this afternoon. Hopefully there is plenty more to come. All right, darkness is falling and we're gonna be shining around a little bit and doing some road cruising now. Hopefully the snake activity will pick up as the sun goes down. Hasn't been a bad afternoon. We've seen two snakes and uh, largely this trip has been quantity over quality so far. Oh my God, what? It's a baby pyro, holy crap. Oh my God. I thought it was a garter snake or something, dude. Oh my God. That is nuts. That is so unreal. This completes the pyro size class uh, for me. I've seen a giant one, a baby one, and normal, oh, he's doing it. Dude, what? Well, that is our fourth mountain king snake of the week. And uh, my first ever fresh hatchling. It's kind of crazy how small these guys start out. I was just telling the guys earlier on this trip that I wanted to see a big mountain king and a hatchling mountain king because all the ones I'd seen prior to this trip had been medium, like in between, not quite fully grown, but also not babies. And uh, the last three we've gotten have been two giant ones and then a fresh baby. So that is a really cool feeling to get to see all of the age classes of my favorite, not my favorite, but one of my favorites. These guys are definitely very close to the absolute top of my favorite snakes. And you can see why. I mean, that is just stunning. Alas, the night is young. So uh, we'll just photograph this guy real quick and then let him go. That is just such an awesome little snake. Very, very cute and absolutely stunning. Arizona Mountain King snake here in New Mexico. Fourth one of the trip. so cool oh man Let's see if we can get two in a night well it had to happen eventually first baby atrox of the night probably won't be the last and weirdly enough that was the last only a handful of snakes that night but at least one of them was a mountain king snake we actually called it a night fairly early so we could get up the next day and head to our next destination in new mexico I'll save that one for the next episode, though. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all are enjoying the New Mexico series, and I will see you all in the next installment.